Welcome to Functional Horsemanship, and this post is for a reader who sent in a question on where and how to hang a, a rifle scabbard uh, on your saddle. Uh, it first starts with a, with a good quality scabbard. I prefer the leather ones. You can buy Cordura ones that are padded as well, particularly for scoped rifles. Uh, I've got a, a nice leather one hooked to my saddle here. This was made by uh, classic Old West styles, uh, COWS. You can Google them. They're, um, they're up on the net. They're actually in El Paso, Texas, and they make some pretty good uh, products here. So this scabbard is made from cows, classic Old West styles. And this one here was made by actually a, a prison uh, leather shop who does work for law enforcement agencies. And then this was given to me by the uh, company B, Texas Rangers. Uh, you have to have a scabbard that's going to fit your rifle. Most most rifles uh, that are associated with carrying a, carrying a rifle on horseback is lever actions. I've got a Winchester Model 94 Trapper in 3030 hooked to the saddle here, and how I've got, this is going to be a lot of personal preference, but how I've got this uh, this scabbard hooked up is most of the scabbards will come with latigos here, you can adjust them, and you can hook them straight using the latigo through D-rings uh, on your saddle itself or through the cinch. I've got this latigo extended here, and I've got a, a snap hook like this on both ends of it so I can take it on and off my saddle pretty easy. Uh, one big consideration is you want this, sat, uh, this, this scabbard not only where you can access the gun while, while on horseback, but also not where it's going to interfere with the horse. Uh, this is pretty close. My horse can still turn, but if I had this end of the scabbard up further, it's going to impede his neck when he turns, nor do I want it constantly rubbing on the horse where it's going to uh, rub some hair off it. I also if you're going to have your scabbard underneath your stirrups here, you know you want, you don't want a lot of bulk underneath there. Otherwise, it's going to keep that leg from uh, giving your horse clue, uh, cues. Uh, just going to make an uncomfortable ride. Could impact on your knees as well. This is a pretty good setup for me. It moves around a little bit. And where I have the end of the saddle hooked up to is the latigos. I've got them really short. And I've got another snap ring like this, snap hook like this, uh, through the latigo and hooked up to this rear, rear uh, cinch D up here like this. Some other places that you may want to consider carrying a scabbard is with the latigos extended you can actually go through the swell of the saddle. So it sits up here like this and then you can, you can use either just the latigos or a snap hook and you can hook this to the bottom D on your, uh, on your uh, front cinch there. Um, you know, just a lot of different ways to do it. You can actually put some some uh, some elbow hooks up here on the back of your uh, back of your cantle, like I have for these latigos holding my rain gear in. And you can hook your rifle up like that and secure the back of it the, you know, with your latigo to your D on your rear cinch, or actually to your D on your saddle as well. It's just a lot of personal preference. But again, you have to consider quality scabbard. You have to consider where are you going to hang that where you can get to it on horseback. You're going to have to consider uh, the scabbard not poking your horse and impeding his movement or giving him wrong cues. It has to be comfortable for you. So if it's underneath your, your stirrup ladder here, you're still going to need to be able to, to reach the horse with your, with your legs or your spurs and you don't need it rubbing on your horse. Wearing, wearing that uh, hair off. I hope this helps. Functional horsemanship, safe, safe journey.